Recently, I heard about a term called a codebase goals, which is essentially a set of goals that you would like to achieve in your project's code. And I started to think, why not to use this idea and apply it to me as a software developer? There is so much new stuff that I would like to learn, and I've been putting it off for quite some time. There's no better time than now, so let's talk about the developer's goals. Programming is hard, <laughs> there is so many different languages, frameworks and concepts to learn. And every year there is even more. I realize I've been spreading myself too thin and I wanted to learn too many things at once. Because of that I've been doing a very little progress in each technology that I wanted to learn or sometimes there was even no progress at all. So I started to explore more and more the concept of goals and how can they help me to learn more and do it faster. First I would like to share with you a couple of my insights and then I will propose some of the ideas for new developers goals that you may want to use. Let's get started. I used to be a collector or maybe even a hoarder. I bookmarked absolutely everything, front-end, back-end and mobile development, all of the interesting links. I used to buy books uh, and courses which I would probably not buy just because there was a sale and maybe one day it will be useful. I had so much material to go through that every time I started with one book I felt guilty that I don't read the other book. Maybe this other book is more important. I didn't have a clear path, I was completely lost in it. What I did is I made a list of potential topics uh, which I would like to explore and were interesting to me. This can be basically anything, like learning a new language, be a more productive developer, explore this new framework that everyone is talking about. Then when you will get a list, start to eliminate. Try to not to have too many goals as you are more likely to fail. Focus on one, two or maybe three goals at once. Less is better in this case. Rem remember, you can always add more later if there will be a room for it. For now, keep it small. Start small, otherwise some of the goals may seem to you too big and overwhelming. A goal like I want to become an iOS developer or I want to be a better developer is not concrete, it is quite abstract. You may find yourself lost and not even sure where to start. Take some time to analyze your goal and make a plan. Try to be more specific. What I found useful is to treat a goal like a typical programming project. Break it down into subtasks. More time you spend preparing, the easier the execution will be. There are numerous apps that you can use. You can start with just writing it down. I like to do a general overview on my iPad where I can put a big picture plan. Then I will start with my research. During that time I will often create a mind map. It will be similar to what I already wrote on my iPad but with additional points. You can use MindNode for it, small and minimalistic app for mind maps. If my goal is to learn something new I will often start to gather all of the articles and materials that I find during that research step. I used to bookmark them but it's not that structured and you can't add any notes. Now I just create a new database in Notion and put everything there. Try to use it in a project or create a new project to use it. The best example here is when you are learning, let's say, <laughs> the Swift UI. When going through a book or online course, you will be most likely trying a sample code and that's fine. But what is much more effective, or at least what works best for me, is when I will apply it to a concrete project. So after recreating steps from a book, I will also try to come up with a simple project and start using what I have just learned. Usually in a real life project, you will learn much more effective and faster. What you will learn will also remain longer when you will use it right away. This of course also works for other types of goals besides learning. Let's say you would like to improve a communication in your team or be better at time management. Try to put it in a project schema and act on it. 
I found out that it's much easier to make a progress towards my goal when I will upfront block a chunk of time in my calendar. It doesn't have to be two hours every second day. Start small, otherwise you will quit before you know it. Long uninterrupted blocks of times are the best, but use whatever you have. If you can't make any concrete plans, I have something else for you. A technique which I'm also using to focus and get my work done. It's called a Pomodoro technique. The name comes from this little kitchen timer which looks like tomato. Which you set for at 25 minutes and during that time you only focus on your goal. Of course you don't need to buy a physical timer, we have apps for that. I'm using an app called Tomato One. You can get it on the App Store. 25 minutes is a quite reasonable amount of time. If you can't schedule blocks of your time, at least try to squeeze in some Pomodoros. Share your goals progress, but only the progress, not the intention. I made this mistake so many times. <laughs> I wanted to learn a new programming language. I bought an online course and immediately posted about it on social media. Then, a couple of days later, the initial excitement was long gone and I still didn't even start it. There is something about it. Feels good to share your plan, but it didn't help you to move forward. So keep your goals to yourself until you actually start executing them. And then only share your progress, not what's on your agenda. If your goal is to learn something new, there is no better way than learning in public. I heard about this first at one of the week's presentation. The idea behind it is quite simple. When you will learn something new, instead of keeping it to yourself, you can share it and teach others. It can be any form like blog posts, tutorials, cheat sheets, YouTube videos. You can also speak at local meetup or even have a conference talk. This is so powerful because in order to actually teach someone a new thing, you need to really understand it yourself. You need to get to know it in order to start teaching. So if your goal is to learn, this will for sure help you achieve it. You can read more about learning in public on this week's website. The link will be in the description. Okay, so now you may ask a question. Will this work for me? Should I do the same? Don't just blindly trust a random person on the internet like this guy who tells you to do the same and you will be good. Don't take everything I say for granted. Check it, give it a try, see how it works for you. Everyone is different and there is no one fits all solution. As for a new goal, I think that the most obvious one will be to learn something new. Maybe you can learn a new programming language or a new framework. For developers, those kinds of goals are usually the most exciting to work on. But think what goal will be the most beneficial for you. Maybe improving your soft skills can be a good goal. Better communication and being a team player can benefit you, but also your team members. As a software developers, we often forget how crucial it is not to only understand the code, but also other people. Having a side project can be a great goal. Think what kind of technologies you would like to be better at and create an app using them. You can create an app as an open source project, invite others to collaborate and build it in public. Give a presentation. I know that this kind of goal may be scary, <laughs> public speaking is something that most of us usually try to avoid, but remember what I said earlier, start small. It can be just for a couple of people in your company. Present what you have learned recently. If you will like it, you can then choose an interesting topic and try a local meetup. Speaking of meetups, have you ever attended one? Meeting other developers and having a conversation is a great way of learning and making new friends. I know that right now meeting people may not be a great idea, but many meetups right now are being held online. Try it as your goal and you may be surprised. Start a blog or YouTube channel. It's not for everyone, but sharing your knowledge is the best way of learning. You need to first fully understand a topic in order to be able to teach it. Being on YouTube may be scary, but you don't also have to show yourself. Just start with sharing your screen and show what you have learned. As I said at the beginning, I will also share my goals. 
My goals for now are all about learning and creating. I will start with SwiftUI. I've been neglecting it for a while, but right now I am 100% team SwiftUI. My second goal is to get back to Flutter development. I have an idea for the app and Flutter is the perfect fit. My third and last goal is to launch my new website. It will be a homepage for this channel. At the beginning it will be just a static pages, uh, but the next phase is to make it using the server side Swift, so stay tuned. Setting up a developer's goals is just a first step, then of course you need to successfully execute them. This will be the topic of my next video. I will show you how do I approach it, what works for me and what you should avoid. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.